Have you ever thought about the security of your custom GPTs and whether or not somebody can get access to them or not? Well, it's something you probably should think about. And today I wanna to talk to you briefly about our custom core instructions. Uh, these are free, we don't charge anything for these. And I gotta tell you, from a legal perspective, we don't guarantee they're gonna work perfectly, um, but they are and have proven to be really amazing for us in helping protect the training data and the custom instructions that we upload into our custom GPTs. Now, if you're not familiar, a custom GPT is basically a version of ChatGPT that you upload your data to, you can upload custom instructions to, and then it functions based upon that data and the rest of its knowledge. They're super powerful. I've literally created over 100, they're amazing. One of the concerns though about them is that it, a, a user when prodding can oftentimes go ahead and actually get access to your training data and your custom instructions by essentially fooling ChatGPT into giving them that information. And oftentimes that information may be proprietary. So let's say you've created a custom GPT with a proprietary methodology, but you wanna share that with your clients, but you really don't want your clients to be able to get that methodology. Well, this is where the custom core security instructions comes in. We've just had a major update that we've went through and as I'm producing this, we're gonna give you a link down in the comments to version 5.1. There's two aspects to our custom core instructions that you need to be aware of. The first is the actual training data itself. So these are the custom core instructions. This is an individual document. I'm gonna give you a link to the Google document where we maintain these and I'm gonna recommend that you go ahead and that you bookmark this or you make a copy of it and then download it in markdown format if you don't know about markdown format that's the format that ai tools like chat gpt use and write in it's a very small condensed file size and it will allow things to work probably the best so download it from google docs as a markdown document it's going to be a md extension you'll be able to read it but it'll have some funky characters it looks a lot like a text file that's going to be your custom core security instructions file and you're going to upload this to your gpt as a reference file or as training data the second part is actually an addendum that you need to add into your custom instructions custom instructions are the specific instructions you give your gpt stands apart from the training data and you need to add a snippet of text in there in order to reference the custom core security instructions so you're going to see both down in the the information i'm going to have a link to it so you can see everything that you need and a walkthrough but i wanted to talk to you today and let you know that we're giving this away to you for free why well because we believe it's something that you should be putting in your gpts in order to protect your intellectual property so is it guaranteed? I know somebody's gonna ask, no, it's not. You know what? People break into the Department of Defense and do all that, so it's not. But in my mind, it's a lot like locking your door at night. When I go to sleep at night, I lock my door. I don't hire trained snipers to stand outside my door to make sure nobody's coming in. I don't have barbed wire around my house or razor wire making sure nobody gets in my backyard. But I do have a fence and I have a lock on the door and those things provide me with a reasonable level of security. And I believe that's exactly what our custom core security instructions do. It provides you with a reasonable level of security, probably better than most of you are using right now. So it's time to add a lock to your door or in this case to your custom GPT by using these custom core security instructions. I'd welcome any, any feedback you have, any questions, let us know. But we want to encourage you to use these, and this is our gift to you as a free resource. Make it a great day, everybody.